Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, rectangle uh, ABCD along with this uh, diagonal uh, AC, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, this angle uh, BAC is 15 degrees. And moreover, the area of this rectangle has been given to us uh, as uh, two square units. And now our task is uh, to find the length uh, of uh, this uh, rectangle and the width uh, of this uh, rectangle uh, as well. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We are going to label the side length uh, of this uh, rectangle. Let's assume this uh, length uh, of this uh, rectangle uh, is uh, x uh, units. Then uh, this uh, length is going to be x units uh, as well. And likewise, uh, let's assume the width uh, of this rectangle is y. Then uh, this width uh, ad is going to be y units as well. And now our task is uh, to find the value of x uh, and find the value of y as well. And now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula. Area equals to length times width. And here we can see the length of this rectangle is x. Uh, the width is y. And the area of this uh, rectangle has been given to us uh, as uh, 2. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, rectangle area formula. So therefore we can write uh, x uh, times y equals to. I'm going to label uh, this uh, equation as our equation number 1. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABC. And let's recall this uh, triangle sum theorem. The sum of three interior angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees. We know this angle is 15 degrees. This angle is 90 degrees. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be 75 degrees. And here's our next step. I have uh, connected uh, these uh, points uh, E and uh, C as you can see where this point uh, E is uh, on this uh, line uh, AB such that we assume that this uh, angle uh, BEC is uh, 30 degrees whereas uh, this angle uh, BCE is uh, 60 degrees. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, whole angle uh, is uh, 75 degrees. This uh, angle uh, is uh, 60 degrees. So therefore, uh, this uh, remaining angle uh, has got to be 15 uh, degrees. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, AEC. And we can see this is an isosceles uh, triangle since uh, this angle is 15 degrees uh, and this angle is 15 degrees as well. And since uh, this is an isosceles triangle, so therefore uh, this side length uh, AE is going to be equal to this side length uh, EC. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle BEC. And we can see that this is a special 30, 60, 90 triangle. Since this angle is 30 degrees, this angle is 60 degrees, and this angle is 90 degrees. Before we proceed any further, let me go over the basic concepts. And let's focus on this triangle ABC. And we can see this is a special 30, 60, 90 triangle. And now we can see 30 degrees is our smallest angle, whereas this 90 degrees is our largest angle. So no wonder the side opposite to this smallest angle is going to be our smallest leg, whereas uh, this uh, angle is our largest angle. So the side opposite to, to that one is going to be our longest leg, and that is called the hypotenuse. So therefore, in such kind of uh, special 30, 60, 90 triangle, the longest leg is always uh, twice the smallest leg. If the smallest leg is uh, one unit, uh, then the longest leg is going to be two. And this third leg has got to be square root of uh, three. And in general, uh, if our smallest leg is uh, y, then our longest leg is going to be two times y. And this third leg is going to be y times uh, square root of uh, three. And now we can see our this uh, bc length uh, is y. Same as uh, over here. Then our uh, this uh, EC length, uh, the 
longest leg is going to be 2 times y and this third leg is going to be y times square root of 3 same as over here and here's our next step we can see that these are two sides a e and e c are equal in length if this side length is 2y then this e a length is going to be 2y as well and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, whole uh, side length uh, a b is going to be 2y plus uh, y times uh, square root of 3 and this uh, very same uh, a b side length equal to x uh, as well so therefore i can write uh, x uh, equals to 2 times y plus uh, y times uh, square root of uh, 3 and in this uh, next step we are going to factor out y from the right hand side so this could be written as x uh, equals to y times uh, 2 plus uh, square root of uh, 3 and in this uh, next step we are going to substitute uh, this x equal to y times uh, 2 plus square root of 3 value in this uh, equation 1 and here we copy down our equation 1 x times y equals to 2 let's substitute so this is going to give us y times 2 plus square root of 3 times y is going to be equal to 2 and now we can see y times y is going to be y square and now we are going to divide both sides by 2 plus square root of 3 to isolate y square so this is gone so therefore y square value turns out to be 2 divided by 2 plus uh, square root of uh, 3 before we proceed any further let me label uh, this equation as our equation uh, number 2 and now we are going to rationalize uh, this uh, denominator by multiplying by its conjugate uh, 2 minus uh, square root of 3 divided by 2 minus uh, square root of 3 as well and here we are going to multiply the numerators and likewise we are going to multiply the denominators as well as you can see in this uh, next step i di distributed this uh, 2 over here and we got in the numerator 4 minus 2 times uh, square root of 3 and likewise we multiplied out uh, the denominators uh, as well and now let's recall this uh, famous identity a plus b times a minus b could be written as uh, a square minus b square and we are going to apply this identity on this uh, denominator part let's assume this is our a this is our b likewise this is our a and this is our b then uh, this uh, identity could be written as uh, 2 square minus square root of uh, 3 whole square so therefore this could be written as 4 minus uh, 3 which is equal to 1 so therefore uh, if we simplify this uh, denominator it turns out to be equal to 1 as you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced uh, this denominator by its value 1 over here and here's our next step I am going to tweak this uh, 4 4 could be written as uh, 3 plus uh, 1 as you can see in this uh, next step and here we can see 3 is same as writing uh, square root of uh, 3 whole uh, square and likewise this uh, 1 could be written as uh, 1 square as you can see in this uh, next step and I can uh, tweak this uh, 2 times square root of 3 as uh, 2 times uh, square root of 3 and then times uh, 1 uh, as well as you can see over here and now let's recall uh, this uh, famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square plus b square minus 2ab we are going to apply it on this uh, right hand side so therefore uh, y square is going to be equal to the right hand side is going to become uh, square root of 3 minus 1 whole square and now we are going to undo this square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides and here we can see this square and square root is gone likewise this square and square root is gone so therefore y value turns out to be square root of uh, 3 minus uh, 1 so thus our y value turns out to be square root of 3 minus 1
and now we are going to calculate the x value by plugging in this uh, y value in equation two and here we have copied down this equation two over here let's substitute y value so x turns out to be equal to our y value is square root of three minus one times two plus square root of three and now we are going to do the double distribution by multiplying them out as you can see in this uh, next step I multiplied them out and here we can see square root of 3 times square root of 3 is going to give us uh, 3 as you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this one by 3 over here let's combine the like terms so uh, 2 times square root of 3 minus square root of 3 is going to give us uh, square root of 3 and 3 minus 2 is going to give us positive 1 so therefore after simplification our x value turns out to be square root of 3 plus 1 and we know x uh, represents the length so x uh, value turns out to be square root of uh, 3 plus uh, 1 and our y value represents the width uh, of this uh, rectangle so therefore our y value is going to be square root of 3 minus 1 units so thus our length uh, turns out to be square root of 3 plus 1 units and our width uh, is square root of 3 minus 1 unit uh, and this uh, length is going to be approximately equal to 2.7321 units and likewise the width uh, of this rectangle is going to be approximately equal to 0 0.7321 units as well. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.